grade, which is Russian. In seventh grade, we start the second. I mean, Russian is closer to Bulgarian because it's a Slavic language. But in seventh grade, we start the Western language, which is German, English, or French by choice. We start a very massive study of world literature. In fifth grade, we study Greek literature, where you read actually from first grade we're given a very long reading list to read these books at home we're to i'm talking about 25 30 books uh, thick books uh, children books have more uh, pictures and so on by, by but by fourth grade you you're supposed to read jules verne in original and you'll be given 20 books to read during the summer recess uh, in, in fifth grade, we started with uh, g Greek, ancient Greek literature. Uh, sixth grade, we studied uh, ancient uh, and, and, and medieval European literature. Uh, seventh and eighth grade, we studied in great detail Bulgarian literature. Eighth grade, again, we studied uh, ancient European and, and, and middle, and ninth grade, modern European literature, and so on. I mean, on, on, on top of that, uh, our curriculum of mathematics, uh, geometry, and planimetry and trigonometry is basically uh, high school curriculum of mathematics is equivalent to first or even second year uh, of university. But it's most fascinating. Uh, one of the greatest disappointments and this is busy woman of uh, Bulgarian intellectuals and, and, and engineers, doctors, and doctors that have come to this country and that are looking for a place to know their kids. So basically, the educational system here is is a giant uh, modernizing and cretinizing uh, enterprise that is designed to, to produce the most pliable and docile specimen for the upcoming new world order. What's your feeling on that, Eustace? I think that that's probably a very important line in the uh, book. John Dewey and George S. Counts were sent to Moscow to be trained in the uh, Pavlovian uh, technique of conditioned reflex, uh, and uh, they came to Moscow and they were trained in this. And this was recorded, by the way, in the New York Times. That's where I got it from the microfilm of the New York Times. And they came back here to set up the program for the entire United States system of education of the Pavlovian system of conditioned reflex, which, as you well know, is where Pavlov, a Russian scientist, found that. Um, uh, he would uh, before he would feed the uh, the rat in the cage or the or the dog. He would uh, ring a little bell, and so then when he rang the bell, the dog would salivate even if no food was forthcoming. Mm -hmm. And that uh, he found it was very easy. Now this is basic behaviorism, which is the reigning not only the reigning school of philosophy, but the reigning school of educational theory in the United States. That uh, you can. With behaviorism, you can teach anybody to do anything, to condition them, to prepare them for a service as life, as a robot in the New World Order. And that is all American education is today. And that's why we have that term in education today that we are, uh, that young people are to be trained in jobs, that that you get job training today. Oh, job training. is Job uh, training. That's, that's the Rockefeller Foundation, which was... The name of the Rockefeller Foundation, before its present name, was General Education Board. Yes, the General That's how Education Board. This is right, <laughs> and the and the point I'm making is that you train a dog, you oh, train yes. an animal, That's right. you, you educate a human, but you train an animal, and so that's why they give us today in, in the education system, because they have to train you like an animal. They don't want to educate you. They train you to do your job. You That's know, right. To put the screws in the, in the whatever. <laughs> and so they train you. Like Fascinating. Uh, and we have not to forget that uh, the educational, I mean, the Rockefeller Foundation is located in a high rise building in uh, New York. New York, that the has Empire. A number, <laughs> that has a number that is 666. The is street it? number of that oh, very building, somebody told me, is a 666, a very important number. I think there is a fight for all these 666 <laughs> number buildings. 
And incidentally, in the big uh, it's, in, it's in New York, and New York is referred to as the Empire State because it's the state of the New World Empire. Right. New World Order. Well, gentlemen, it's time for the bottom line final uh, concluding statement. Well, my concluding statement is, is that it is high time that people wake up to find and look around you for someone many years ago said that many will look with their eyes but not see and will listen with their ears but not hear and that is certainly what has happened to america today people are looking with their eyes but they're not seeing what's going on symbols and emblems and national coats of arms and flags and and uh, fraternal orders symbols are very very important to the entire system under which we live and uh, until such time as you understand that this is a very occult order here in America that we live under, uh, you're not going to get the inference that you need to understand. This country is being ruled from behind the scenes by some very desperate and diabolical people. And only until you wake up and uh, to educate yourself are you going to have any kind of salvation for you, yourself or your family. It's time to wake up. Eustace, what's your well, concluding my, statement? My message is to the parents uh, of children in this country, and that is don't sell your children down the river. Don't sell your children as slaves. Don't sell your children to perverts. And uh, find out what, what is the basis of the educational program. And uh, get the facts and uh, then make your own decision as to whether is this the future that you want for your children? I mean, the countries in Eastern Europe gave a resounding uh, answer to the whole world as to whether the socialist system in, is better than the capitalist system. Uh, why should a public education socialistic system here in this country be better than a uh, system of uh, schools for private education uh, where uh, where basically the parents would be choosing the uh, educational program the parents would be choosing the school and the cheat the teachers that would be in contact with their children uh, my concluding statement is uh, very simple I mean <laughs> number one one should get his kids as quickly as possible from the public, uh, uh, out of the public education system. Let's vote with our feet. Uh, uh, if the state was in charge of production of cars in this country, the situation would be would have been the very same as in the Soviet Union. One model of car never changed for ten years. I mean, basically, the Soviet Union has gone through five or six models of cars <laughs> for the eighty years is the Bolshevik Revolution. This is how much the state is capable of creativity, innovation, and invention. And uh, the American public edu educational system, compared to what it would, it could have been if it were to be a private educational system, I mean, it, it is such an unfavorable com comparison. Uh, coming from Eastern Europe, from a totalitarian communist country, I never cease to be amazed how much this society not only uh, smells of socialism, but it reeks of socialism and communism. And the sad story is that it is not by coincidence and mistake, but it was designed to, to be so. And thinking uh, about Reagan's prophetic words uh, about the evil empire, on the other side of the curtain, I, I, I slowly come to realize that the, the real evil empire on this planet is actually on this side of the curtain. This is the... Uh, ugly, occult, uh, satano luciferian model on which all the communist uh, parties and secret uh, societies within them and the whole communist uh, countries were patterned. And that basically the upcoming New World Order will be more evil and more inhumane, uh, more devoid of love and affection and compassion than 
any of the ugliest uh, Bolshevik or fascist or Nazi or communist so social structures uh, the world had ever seen. Uh, the experiments in Cambodia, the killing fields of Cambodia, where uh, advisors from Washington were advising Pol Pot as to the best ways to reach the global 2000 objective of uh, the, re the reduction and elimination of the global population, were just pocket experiments of the future uh, massive population eradication campaigns that have as a goal the final reduction of the population by a billion, by two billion, even as low as 500 million, as many such uh, uh, prognoses and scenarios have uh, been uh, putting forward. This is the conclusion of this tape, and uh, this is just one of the many new and upcoming ta tapes that uh, we have in mind. In the following tapes, we'll be talking about uh, human genetic engineering that has been going on for more than 100 years with the purpose of the creation, the engineering of the super race and the superman, which will repopulate the planet after it is emptied by the numerous uh, illuminated uh, depopulation measures and also many other interesting topics. Thank you very much all for your attention and uh, basically uh, <coughs> we wish you all success. We shall overcome. We certainly will. Thank you very much all.